take a look at this picture that shows the different colors of blues. Can you guess which color mental health technicians wear for their color of scrubs? Is there even a difference between these colors? Why yes, there is a difference. A little fun fact is that psych nurses wear royal blue and white colored scrubs, whereas mental health technicians wear navy blue and seal blue colored scrubs. On this picture in the first slide, it represents the first two colors on that first row represent the colors that I just mentioned, navy blue and royal blue. There's a little bit of a shade difference between these colors to help indicate the different category of scrubs that technicians wear. Today, I will be talking about a mental health aid. What even is a mental health aid? Well, they receive medical and psychiatric training that enables them to help people in a variety of settings. They are also known as mental health technicians, behavioral health aides, and psychiatric aid. They are expected to be patient, empathetic, friendly, and caring towards patients. A mental health aid works under the supervision of a mental health technician, nurse, or other professionals to perform basic duties. Now, you, be, you may be wondering to yourself, what are those basic duties? What do they do? A big thing about a mental health aid is helping the patient. This can include helping the patients with therapeutic activities, making sure patients are taking their medication, documenting treatment progress, teaching patients living skills, and offering recreational therapy to improve a patient's social skills. Zapia.com gathered some real examples of responsibilities from real mental health aids resumes. These ex examples of responsibilities they got included responsibilities that they take on, such as assisting the ward registered nurse through medication and with new admissions or discharges. They facilitate communication and coordination between care, service, and support providers. They work with elderly clients and dementia clients, feeding, help them feeding all hygiene needs, cleaning themselves, changing, and making beds. Education requirements. The basic requirement for majority of mental health aids is a high school diploma, diploma or GED. However, a bachelor's degree is normally needed. In the early stages, it is recommended that some subjects you take in high school include math, science, social science, psychology, and health. Because the majority of mental health aides are trained on the job under supervision of nurses and mental health professionals, bestackreditedcolleges.org states hospitals typically prefer, prefer jobs, job candidates who have past experience as a nurse's aide, and they might require completion of a formal training program which includes lectures, hands-on training, or workshops. These courses include addressing topics such as human development, developing practical skills, conflict prevention, and counseling techniques. Common studies found in a mental health aid is psychology, human services, or social work. According to the Association of Psychiatric Technicians, there are four levels of certification for mental health technicians. Level one is a high school diploma or GED, Level 2 is at least 480 hours of any kind of college or university courses, plus a work in the field for at least one year. Level 3 is 960 hours of any kind of college or university and work in the field for at least two years. Level 4 is a bachelor's degree in a subject related to mental health or development disabilities, plus you must work in the field for at least three years. <clears throat> mental health aides mainly work in related healthcare settings, psychiatric hospitals, residential mental health facilities, and substance abuse facilities. As of Febu February 9th, 2022, Zapia.com stated the median annual wage for psychiatric technicians was roughly $26,503, with the hourly rate of $12.74 in Iowa. 
By 2030, the employment is expected to raise by 